17 Signs of Fatty Liver How to Recognize Early and Advanced Symptoms of Hepatic Stetosis A Silent Threat Is Fatty Liver Dangerous? What do you feel when you have fatty liver? What are the 17 warning signs of hepatic stetosis telling us that the fat in the liver is already concerning? And what to do to eliminate this fat before it's too late? Today I will talk about fatty liver, which is a disease that is rapidly growing worldwide. In the 90s, hepatic stetosis was rare. Today, it is more common than you think and is even affecting children. In the United States, over 30% of adults over 35 have it. And don't think it's a benign disease. If you don't treat it, your liver can get scarred, develop cirrhosis, and even cancer. Just so you have an idea of the problem's magnitude, stetosis is one of the main causes of liver transplantation in the world. You're not going to ignore it, right? It needs to be detected in time because the liver is an organ that can completely regenerate itself up to a certain point. Knowing the signs and symptoms, you can prevent the disease from progressing, worsening, and you can even reverse it, leaving your liver clean. But I won't talk just about the signs and symptoms. I'll talk about a food that is the main cause of this fat in the liver. And if you already know you have it or suspect you might, you must avoid it entirely, not put it in your mouth anymore. And I'll also show that it's possible to get rid of this problem naturally by changing some habits. And you'll discover that the best remedies for fatty liver might be in your kitchen and not in the pharmacy. Let's go. What are the 17 symptoms of fatty liver that you cannot ignore? I will talk about six initial symptoms and 11 more serious complications that indicate liver problems, highlighting the urgent need for care. But first, I have to tell you something extremely important. This information is crucial to understand your liver health and act quickly. Hepatic steatosis is silent. Discovering that you have fatty liver can be a surprise for many, as more than a third of adults have this condition without knowing. Often, it is detected by chance during an ultrasound or blood test for another reason, and liver enzymes like AST and ALT appear elevated. This can be a shock, especially because hepatic stetosis, in its early stage, does not show symptoms similar to other diseases like diabetes, high cholesterol, and high blood pressure. But if you discovered you have this problem, don't despair. In this initial phase, it's possible to completely reverse the condition, taking advantage of the liver's incredible regeneration ability. Could it be that you weren't feeling anything, really? Let's go to the symptoms. Six initial symptoms of fatty liver. First initial symptom, fatigue. The liver, an essential organ, performs crucial functions such as metabolizing nutrients and generating energy. However, the presence of fat in this organ can seriously compromise these functions. Moreover, stetohepatitis, a condition where liver inflammation occurs along with the accumulation of fat, can intensify the feeling of tiredness. This liver dysfunction also affects hormone production, directly impacting mood, sleep, and overall body energy, leading to a persistent state of fatigue. Second initial symptom, stomach pain, heartburn. A study from UFMG revealed that people with hepatic stetosis often experience dyspeptic symptoms, like heartburn, burning that extends from the chest to the throat, belching and feeling of a full stomach, more than individuals without this condition, with a significant difference of 25% against 12.4%. Third, initial symptom, excess gas. People with hepatic steatosis often have an excessive accumulation of gases. Radiologists note that the presence of fat in the liver can lead to this problem, which even hinders the visualization of the pancreas in exams. This excess gas is probably caused by changes in the intestinal flora, directly impacting liver health. Fourth initial symptom, pain on the right side of the abdomen, near the ribs. It's a discomfort in the upper right quadrant, or a light weight where the liver is located, a nagging pain under the rib, probably because the liver has grown in size, which can also press the phrenic nerve causing pain around the right shoulder. Fifth initial symptom, loss of appetite. Loss of appetite in people with fatty liver can result from metabolic changes, liver inflammation, hormonal imbalance, symptoms like nausea, abdominal discomfort, and psychological impacts. These factors, linked to the impaired functioning of the liver, affect the regulation of hunger and the feeling of well-being, emphasizing the need for medical follow-up for proper treatment and management of this condition. Sixth initial symptom, nausea. 
Nausea in cases of fatty liver or hepatic steatosis arises for various reasons linked to impaired liver function. Firstly, the liver's ability to filter toxins is reduced, leading to the accumulation of these substances in the blood, causing nausea. Furthermore, excessive fat in the liver can result in liver inflammation, which brings abdominal discomfort or pain, accompanied by nausea. Another factor is the influence of liver dysfunction on digestion, especially in the production of bile, necessary for the digestion of fats. Finally, the enlargement of the liver can press on the stomach and other organs, generating a sensation of fullness and nausea. These symptoms reflect a liver functioning inadequately. Normally, these six symptoms suggest initial hepatic steatosis. Now, what are the 11 late symptoms of fatty liver that you cannot ignore? First, late symptom, itching all over the body. In cases where liver disease is in an advanced stage and the liver is affected, there is an accumulation of bile salts in the blood. These salts can deposit on the skin, resulting in intense itching. This itching is more common on the palms of the hands, but can spread all over the body, causing discomfort. Second, late symptom, jaundice. Jaundice occurs due to the accumulation of bilirubin, a yellow pigment produced by the breakdown of red blood cells. Normally, the liver processes bilirubin, but if there is liver dysfunction, biliary obstruction, or an increase in the destruction of red blood cells, bilirubin accumulates, tinting the skin and eyes yellow. It's an important sign of various medical conditions. Third, late symptom, pale stools. In hepatic steatosis, the liver doesn't properly process bile salts, essential for coloring the stools. Without them, stools lose their characteristic color, becoming paler. This reflects the liver's difficulty in performing its normal functions. Fourth, late symptom, dark urine. In hepatic steatosis, urine darkens because the affected liver releases more bilirubin into the bloodstream. This bilirubin is filtered by the kidneys and excreted in the urine, increasing its concentration and giving it a darker color, similar to cola. Fifth late symptom, red spots all over the body. When the liver fails to produce essential proteins for blood clotting, there can be a decrease in platelets, known as thrombocytopenia, and problems in the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins. This failure includes vitamin K deficiency, vital for clotting, as a result, it's common for red spots to appear on the skin, a warning sign for these hepatic problems related to clotting and the absorption of essential nutrients. Sixth late symptom, spider veins. When the body faces a hormonal imbalance, there can be an increase in estrogen, which is not adequately processed. This excess estrogen leads to the expansion of blood vessels, indicating a problem in the hormonal balance affecting blood circulation. Seventh, late symptom, gynecomastia. And speaking of that hormonal imbalance, gynecomastia, characterized by the enlargement of breast tissue in men, can be an indirect consequence of hepatic steatosis, a condition where there is excessive accumulation of fat in the liver. This accumulation can interfere with hormonal balance, especially the relationship between estrogen and testosterone, leading to the development of feminine characteristics like gynecomastia. Commonly linked to factors like obesity, excessive alcohol use and diabetes, hepatic steatosis impairs the liver's ability to metabolize hormones properly. Therefore, gynecomastia in this context reflects broader metabolic and hormonal imbalances associated with liver health. Eighth late symptom, palmar erythema. Palmar erythema occurs due to the dilation of blood vessels in the palm of the hands. This characteristic redness can be a reflection of various conditions, including hormonal changes or liver problems, like hepatic steatosis. In the context of liver diseases, the damaged liver may not properly metabolize hormones, leading to a hormonal imbalance that causes the dilation of blood vessels. Additionally, substances that would normally be filtered by the liver can accumulate in the blood and affect circulation in the palmar area. This sign is therefore an indicator that there may be an underlying condition affecting liver health. Ninth late symptom, night blindness. Night blindness, or nyctalopia, can occur due to liver problems due to poor absorption of vitamin A, essential for eye health. The liver plays a crucial role in storing and metabolizing vitamin A. 
In conditions of liver disease, such as cirrhosis or hepatic statosis, the liver's ability to store and release vitamin A is compromised. This leads to a deficiency of this vitamin, which is vital for the production of pigments in the retina, necessary for vision in low light conditions. Without adequate amounts of vitamin A, the ability to see in dark environments is significantly reduced, resulting in night blindness. Tenth late symptom, white nails. White nails, also known as leukonychia, can be a sign of liver problems, like cirrhosis or hepatitis. This change in nail coloration occurs due to changes in blood composition and circulation, often associated with liver diseases. The sick liver may not be able to process and efficiently eliminate toxins from the body. This accumulation of toxins can affect various systems, including the blood circulation under the nails. Additionally, liver problems can lead to nutritional deficiencies, such as a lack of proteins and vitamins, which are essential for nail health, resulting in pale or white nails. This happens when most of the nail of the hand or foot appears white, somewhat dull. Almost the entire nail looks faded, except for a thin brown or pink band at the tip. Usually, it appears on several nails. Eleventh, late symptom. Swelling in the legs and ankles. Swelling in the legs and ankles, in cases of liver diseases, like cirrhosis, occurs due to an imbalance in the production and release of proteins by the affected liver. Normally, the liver produces albumin, a protein that helps keep fluid inside the blood vessels. When the liver is sick, the production of albumin decreases, leading to fluid leakage from the blood vessels into the surrounding space, causing edema. Moreover, liver diseases can cause portal hypertension, an increase in pressure in the portal vein, which can worsen the accumulation of fluid in lower tissues, like legs and ankles, and if it progresses further, it can cause esophageal varices, potentially resulting in significant bleeding, mental confusion, weight loss, diarrhea, ascites, and even death. That's why it's important for you to recognize the symptoms, and go after them if you don't have any symptoms, but have risk factors for hepatic steatosis. How can you find out if you have fatty liver? When detected early, hepatic steatosis can be completely reversed, protecting the liver from damage. Even in the presence of scars and fibrosis, it's possible to prevent the progression to more serious problems like cirrhosis and liver cancer. The diagnosis usually occurs through imaging tests like ultrasound, Connecticut scan, or MRI. It's normal to have a small amount of fat in the liver, but when it exceeds 5% of its weight, the doctor notices changes in the images, indicating a liver with excessive fat. There are three degrees of hepatic steatosis. Grade 1, mild steatosis. Grade 2, moderate steatosis. And grade 3, when there is a large accumulation of fat in the liver. Who is more likely to have fatty liver? What are the risk factors? First, risk factor, obesity. Obesity significantly increases the risk of developing hepatic steatosis, a condition where excess fat accumulates in the liver. This excessive fat impairs liver functions, causing inflammation. Over time, this inflammation can worsen, leading to scarring of the organ. This scarring is worrisome, as it can progress to more serious conditions, including hepatic cirrhosis, a severe disease that seriously compromises liver health and its essential functions. Second risk factor, type 2, diabetes. Individuals with type 2 diabetes face a higher risk of developing hepatic steatosis, a condition linked to insulin resistance, a central aspect of this disease. This resistance results in abnormal accumulation of fat in the liver, negatively affecting its functions. This situation can progress to liver inflammation, increasing the possibility of more severe liver damage. Third risk factor, high blood pressure. People with high blood pressure have a higher risk of developing hepatic steatosis, as hypertension can contribute to the accumulation of fat in the liver. High blood pressure often coexists with other risk factors, like obesity and insulin resistance, which together exacerbate the possibility of liver damage. Fourth risk factor, excessive alcohol consumption. Excessive alcohol consumption significantly increases the risk of hepatic steatosis, as alcohol is metabolized in the liver, causing oxidative stress and inflammation. This process leads to the accumulation of fat in liver cells, impairing their functions and potentially evolving to more severe conditions like cirrhosis and liver failure. Fifth risk factor, 
Sedentarism. Sedentarism increases the risk of hepatic steatosis as a lack of physical activity contributes to the accumulation of fat in the body and liver. Physical inactivity is also associated with other risk factors like obesity and insulin resistance, exacerbating the likelihood of liver damage. Other causes include the use of medications like amiodarone, diltiazine, tamoxifen, corticosteroids. And what to do to reverse the fat in your liver? Four things. First, avoid alcohol. Reducing or avoiding alcohol consumption is essential to protect the liver. Alcohol damages liver cells, known as hepatocytes, and can lead to the accumulation of fat in the organ, compromising its function and health. Second, you have to exercise. Currently, fatty liver has become a common problem in children, partly due to changes in lifestyle. Before, even with an inadequate diet, children remained active, riding bicycles, for example. Today, the preference for electronic games has replaced actual physical activities. To combat this, it's recommended to do walks or other moderate activities for at least 150 minutes per week. Third, lose weight. By losing 5% of your weight, you can achieve significant benefits for your liver health, including reducing inflammation, fibrosis reduction, and decreasing hepatic fat, thus improving your overall health. Fourth diet. The health of our liver is closely linked to our diet. Often an inadequate diet is the reason for fat accumulation in this organ, but fortunately, a balanced diet can be the key to reversing this condition. What are the five most toxic foods for your liver that you should avoid at all costs if you have fatty liver? First, foods containing fructose. I want to make it clear that fresh fruits don't count. The biggest villain of all, the one that causes the most, by far, fatty liver, is corn syrup and fructose which are in sodas, cereal bars, box juices, tomato sauce, ketchup, mustard, jellies. Second sugar. To maintain liver health, it's essential to reduce sugar consumption, including fructose. This is because sugar contributes significantly to fat accumulation in the liver, raising the risk of developing hepatic steatosis, a condition that negatively affects liver function. Third, ultra-processed foods. Those that come in packages and fast foods everything you need to ruin your liver. Avoiding ultra-processed foods is essential to prevent fatty liver, as they contain high levels of sugars, saturated fats, and additives that can increase the risk of hepatic steatosis. Fourth, refined wheat, breads, pasta, crackers. All of this increases fat in the liver. Avoiding refined wheat helps prevent fatty liver, as it can rapidly elevate blood sugar levels, contributing to insulin resistance and the accumulation of liver fat. Fifth, vegetable oils. Today's diet is rich in omega-6, which causes inflammation, and poor in omega-3, which reduces inflammation. It's advisable to avoid vegetable oils, as many are rich in omega-6 fats, which in excess can promote inflammation and contribute to the accumulation of fat in the liver. And now the six foods you should include in your diet to cleanse the fatty liver. First, fruits. Research indicates that fruits, especially avocado, are effective in reducing liver fat. Avocado stands out due to its high content of glutathione, a powerful antioxidant. This component not only fights fat in the liver, but also promotes broader liver health. Second, whole grains. Oat bran, flaxseed, chia are rich in fiber and omega-3 and are associated with a reduced risk of hepatic steatosis. Third, cruciferous vegetables. Cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and cauliflower contain sulforaphane, which helps reduce liver inflammation and cancer risk thanks to its sulfur derivative. Fourth, olive oil. Consuming three, four tablespoons of olive oil daily can significantly reduce fat accumulation in the liver, promoting an improvement in liver health. Fifth, turmeric. Turmeric, known for its anti-inflammatory properties, should be consumed with a pinch of black pepper to enhance its absorption and effectiveness in our body. Sixth, coffee. Coffee, containing caffeine, tocopherol, vitamin E, and chlorogenic acid, acts as an antioxidant, reducing liver inflammation and offering protection against liver fibrosis. If you have fatty liver, follow this. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.